VG UDS Pogo Pin Pin Out for All Keys Lost. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. To perform all keys loss programming on VG vehicles with UDS dashboards using tools like Zorce VVDI2, Autolie M608, or similar devices, you'll need to follow a detailed process that involves using a Pogo pin connected to the dashboard. This guide will walk you through each step with all the necessary details. Detailed step-by-step -step guide. Step 1. Identify the vehicle and dashboard. Applicable vehicles. VEG Group Vehicles, Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat. Equipped with Video UDS or Micronas dashboards produced between 2009 and 2012. Dashboard Types. Video UDS. Common in many Volkswagen models. Micronas dashboards. Found in earlier models. Verify the specific dashboard type by cross-referencing vehicle data or using your diagnostic tool to read the ECU. Step 2. Gather required tools and equipment. Tools. Zorce VVDI2, Autol IM608, or similar key programming tools. Pogo Pin. This is part of the SVG cable set and designed for specialized pin-to-board connections. Power supply to power on the dashboard when necessary. Other essentials. A stable work environment to ensure correct pin connections. Diagrams for your specific dashboard model to identify pogo pin locations. Step 3. Locate pogo pin pinout positions on the dashboard. 1. Find the pinout diagrams. Use Google or specific VAG key programming forums to locate pinout diagrams for your dashboard model. For VDO UDS or Micronas dashboards, specific diagrams will show where to place the pogo pin to access the necessary data points, usually near the NEC chip or similar components. 2. Example dashboard models. VDO and EC UDS dashboards. Position the pogo pin near the NEC processor, as indicated in the specific pinout diagram. Micronas dashboards. These have slightly different configurations, but the pogo pin positions will also be near central data processing chips on the circuit board. 3. Common pin locations. Dashboard 7. Position near the NEC microcontroller. Skoda Fabia Type 8. Specific positioning according to the dashboard's layout. Step 4. Connect the pogo pin. 1. Preparation. Turn off the power to the dashboard before making any connections. Carefully open the dashboard to expose the circuit board, if needed, and locate the pogo pin location according to the diagram for your model. 2. Connect the pogo pin. Attach the pogo pin to the appropriate point on the dashboard, ensuring a secure and stable connection. If the pin is misplaced, data retrieval may fail. 3. Power on the dashboard. Once the pogo pin is securely connected, turn the power supply onto the dashboard. This will allow your diagnostic tool to communicate with the dashboard. Step 5. Use your programming tool to retrieve data. 1. Launch the key programming software. Open the software for your VVDI2, IM608, or other tools and select the appropriate vehicle model and dashboard type, Video UDS or Micronus. 2. Press OK to start data retrieval. With the pogo pin connected and the dashboard powered, press the OK button on your tool to start the process of reading the data from the dashboard. Three. Retrieve the data file. The programming tool will read the data via the pogo pin connection. This data file contains crucial information needed to unlock the dashboard for programming new keys. Note, the key file is vital for future programming or unlocking the dashboard if keys are lost again. Step 6. Unlock the dashboard. 1. Use the retrieve data to unlock the dashboard. Once you have the data file, use it to unlock the dashboard via your key programming tool. This file allows you to bypass the immobilizer system and proceed with programming new keys, even if all keys are lost. 2. Test the unlocking process. After unlocking, test whether the dashboard can now communicate freely with the diagnostic tool for key programming. If successful, the dashboard will allow new key registration. Step 7. Program new keys. 1. Proceed with all keys lost programming. Follow the specific instructions for your programming tool, VVDI2, IM608, etc to add new keys to the vehicle. During the process, the tool may require the VIN or other specific information to link the new keys to the immobilizer system. Two, confirm key programming. After programming, ensure that all new keys function properly. Test by turning the ignition and confirming the vehicle starts correctly with the newly programmed keys. Step eight, final checks. One, reassemble the dashboard. After successful key programming, disconnect the pogo pin and reassemble the dashboard carefully. 2. Check for error codes. Use the diagnostic tool to scan for any residual error codes 
or faults caused during the process. Clear any errors and ensure the vehicle operates smoothly. 3. Backup data. Store the retrieved data file securely for future reference, especially in case of future issues with the vehicle's immobilizer system. Important notes. Precision is crucial. Misplacing the pogo pin can result in failed data retrieval, so it is essential to use precise positioning. Power stability. Ensure stable power during the entire process to avoid communication drops or data corruption. Tools compatibility. This method is only supported on tools like VVDI2, Autol IM608, and similar professional devices. Make sure your tool is compatible with the VDO UDS or Micronas dashboards. By following these detailed steps, you can successfully perform all keys loss programming on VEG vehicles equipped with UDS dashboards, ensuring proper retrieval of data and unlocking the dashboard for new key programming. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.